Hey there, lovely soul, and thank you so much for joining me. I'm Infinity, and this is your Stargate meditation. But before we get into that, we're going to get a Dragon Fay Oracle card, and then we'll get into the meditation. And if you're unfamiliar with what stargates are, please check out the video that I posted earlier. Uh, what are stargates? What are our 10 day stargates every month? Uh, when and, and what are they? Whatever, something to that effect <laughs> was my video. So please check that out. Very important. They happen every single month. They go for 10 days and uh it's just well and well actually 11 days with the landing with the landing day so officially 11 days but we're 10 days in the stargate itself um and and they do happen every month very important very big deals for us in in our ascension and our spirituality um our evolution and all that good stuff so please check that video out Okay, here we go. Uh, that's so funny. I took a little peek of her as I was shuffling earlier and I went, hey there, and she went, hi, and then here she is. Oh, that's hilarious. This is the Morrigan. Uh, take action with the Morrigan. Look at that. Wowza. She's so fierce, such fierce energy here with the Morrigan. Oh, I didn't grab my book. Down here. She is card number 22. Oh, so close there. Okay, card number 22. Get my light here because it's pretty dark in here um the light was just starting to bother me we're going to get into meditation anyway so i figured why have it on <laughs> okay the morrigan speaks i oh boy these are tiny letters i see now that events are moving extremely fast this is a time of rapid change and creation so rapid that you may wish to slow down just a little however i say to you clearly that the time to act is now and that procrastination and hesitation are your enemies at this time i can lead you forward through this time and help you pick your way through the minefield before you this is a time of testing and darkness but through this you will grow strong be aware if you have resisted your abilities or felt blocked in terms of following your life path these changes will take place very rapidly because they have been waiting for a signal to be able to come in and they are working hard with you so you do not have to endure a long drawn out process of change <laughs> could this be any more on point for a stargate i don't think so <laughs> oh my god i'm dying truly you are ready take flight with me and know that that taking your own path seriously and acting now with deep integrity is the way for justice to reach you deep and track deep and integrity is the way for justice to reach you i love this so much do not give in to your panic and do not run. Now is the time. If not now, when? You have already tortured yourself in a thousand ways with your thoughts. You cannot avoid change. Each day, your cells renew, and all you have to do is breathe in and out for this process to take place. You are confusing stasis with safety. There is nothing to fear. There is everything to gain give up your fear your victimhood and your petty grievances and walk a while with me and my raven as we pass through the wild dark of the wood and emerge on the other side change transformed and powerful oh my gosh this is so good for the stargate 
so good for the Stargate. She's so fierce. She's like, let's do it. Let's go. Change is coming. There's nothing you can do about it except for lean in, be aware, step into your power, go in, you know, head first, eyes open, chest up um, with a sense of of purpose and belonging. And that is very similar. Like it reminds me of the meditation that we did for the new moon and, or sorry, the full moon. I keep saying new moon when I mean full moon this for some reason, every time, I don't know what my deal is there. This full moon that we just had on the 27th, just like four days ago, um, is still very potent and bringing these energies in, um, how like, uh, like, like just amplifying the energies of the Stargate. Um, which is all about change and timeline, solidifying, collapsing, um, creating uh, uh, timelines, making choices and, and bringing in higher awareness. And this Stargate is called the Ascended Master Stargate. And what that means is, is that codes and, and energies are coming in to thin the veil so we can really tap in with archangels, ascended masters, our guardian angels, so we can bring in this truth, have that support. So it's not just her, it's everybody. It's all of them saying, we're here to reach through and we're trying to reach through to you. We will be reaching through to you more and more and to show you things, to bring you energies. To, and, and situations are happening quickly now. And that's what Stargates are. Stargates are like a boost like you hit the power booster imagine like um star wars and when they hit those thrusters and it's like whoo you know like i'm not sure exactly what they call it but like warp speed it's like warp speed ahead kind of thing and um that's what a stargate is just like getting into the spaceship and then traveling and then all of a sudden hitting that that warp speed and going super super fast and just and so things do come in and, and seem like they're moving quickly and stuff is happening quickly, et cetera, et cetera. So what she's saying here is, um, is that, and also like I'm trying to avoid this, like, like she says, things are moving extremely fast and, and change and creation is so rapid that you may want it to slow down. So um, we may be working in the, in the meditation with time and the gate um, to try to work with ourselves to slow down. I'm getting a little bit of that. Just so you know, if you're new to my meditations, I don't uh, design them, think them up. I'm not the architect of the meditations. I just know when we're to do them, I show up like you do, I tap in and then everything starts coming in, flooding in for me. And then I translate that over for you. Um, so we can travel. So I just get bits and glimpses of what we're going to do. Um, and I, and this other thing here, like if you felt blocked, if you felt heavy, foggy, like what am I supposed to do? And so many people in the last year and a half have come to me and said those same things time and time again when they're looking for um, ascension coaching and healing and stuff that I help people with. They're just like, I just feel so blocked and so foggy. Like what, where am I going next kind of thing? And so it's just really important to be aware that what coming in with this and every other stargate with a little bit of a difference in theme usually but it's always about timelines with an extra theme on that like i like i said um so anyway so here she is just letting us know that we are to expect a lot of change through the through the the this portal as usual today was the first day of the portal um, energetically, it's been kind of, um, sp spacey is a good word, foggy, heavy, but good energy coming in, feeling really good energy. Um, it's just, it's, it's, stargates are always really interesting for, on the micro and the macro scale for, for what we see globally, what we're feeling internally or what we're seeing in our own lives. Um, there's all, it's always very prismatic as to what's going on. So anyway, there is the Morgan. That was awesome. Um, for our, our 
message for the meditation um take action is really what she's saying here you it's time to do whatever you've been thinking that needs to be that you need to be focusing on it's time to do those things um if you feel you're not ready if you feel a little foggy call on her the morgan oh i was gonna read more about sorry i was gonna read just a little bit more about her just to round that out i'm like wait a second um let me just read to you guys just a little bit here okay the morrigan is an ancient dragon fae um a uh, celtic goddess of death and change she not only gave warrior warriors premonitions of their passing so they could make preparations she eased them through their passage to the other side thus she rules transitions in our lives not simply uh, the ones from this life to the next but the ones that take us into the unknown through our fear and into the alchemy of magic where we are able to show who we truly are a triple dragon fake goddess she is fierce fair and utterly without malice she is however a straightforward and sometimes abrupt teacher and guide i can be that way <laughs> maybe <laughs> she's strong and uh, be strong and be prepared for deep change when she makes an appearance be strong and be prepared for deep change when she makes an appearance very true just like a stargate be strong and be prepared for deep change when we reach our, our monthly stargates do not go into fear at those words let your courage feel inspired and know that destiny has given you an opportunity to be courageous to wait to wait, whoa, 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 what <laughs> know that destiny has given you an opportunity to be the courageous being of action that you truly are and divinatory meanings a turning point in your life demands action on your behalf and backing down or avoidance is not the answer. The Morrigan calls on you to take action and to face your fears this way. Your transformation will be one which gives you great strength and freedom. Feeling frightened, alone and hesitant will only lead you astray. Feeling frightened, alone and hesitant will only lead you astray follow her guidance know that she will walk forward with you and assist you in uncovering strengths you never believe you had so true so true take it from me i've been working with her for a long time and she's so awesome it just really pumps. she's like the best corner man you can have like she's so amazing at pumping you up with confidence and purpose and strength and and the ability to tap into your abilities and go hey yeah i am pretty freaking magical i can handle this stuff i just need to maneuver my my way and dance my way through this you know with eyes wide open and you know my feet firmly ready to rock and roll kind of thing um, <laughs> Feeling frightened, alone, and hesitant will only lead you astray. Follow her guidance. Know that she will walk forward with you and assist you in uncovering strength you never believed you had. Draw strong boundaries and claim your space. Draw strong boundaries and claim your space. Let's say it again. Draw strong boundaries and claim your space, dear ones. Oh my goodness. Such a powerful message just in that sentence draw firm strong boundaries and claim your space no matter what is going on in your life it's so important for you to know and 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 step into that strength for your boundaries whatever they are whatever they are and with whomever you need to do that with um she can signify transitions and rites of passage, birth, death, physical change, spirit connections with loved ones who have passed away may also be indicated by the Morrigan. And working with the Morrigan, face trouble rather than turning away, confront injustice and change the rules by which you have felt bound, confront injustice and change the rules by which you have felt bound so you know maybe we've had to play by other people's rules or circumstances or this or that and this is this is we to um elicit change by confronting injustices and 
and and changing the rules of what's happened so far. And those like the Morrigan, the Archangels, our Ascended Masters are exactly the ones that, that we need to tap into for that type of strength and energy and wisdom. Okay. Uh -huh. Break free from stagnating jobs and pursuits, relationships that offer no life source or force cross over into a more spiritual path and learn to work with your strength and your own ability to create deep change losing fear of your own power invoking natural laws knowing you have been acting in integrity mediumship okay so there we go that's the whole message sorry i jumped again a little earlier um so really powerful there. It's really about stepping into your power, taking things head on, knowing things are going to change, knowing that that we're, you know, prepared for that. We're thinking about that, which is honestly, I, I honestly can't think of a more perfect message and and um, divine, beautiful dragon fate being to help us at this time really understand the seriousness, the the importance, I guess is a good word, the importance of of a stargate every single month and of our position going in and how we're steady in the stargate or not and again for more about the stargate please watch that other video i don't want to get too much into that but this is just really really very much validating and enforcing what a stargate it is and and what that feels like and and that it does it's like it's like the, the tower, if you know tarot, it's like the tower type of thing where it's just, um, and you have to go into that knowing this is happening for a reason, whatever that this is affecting in my life, whatever change it's affecting to really see it, um, take that head on, but not in an aggressive way, in a way that comes from wisdom and peace and from the soul, not from the ego, from fear and from self-preservation. It's about expansion and it's about release and it's about rising above the, the, the uh, moving pieces of our 3D life. Okay, so with that said, we're going to get into our meditation. What we're actually going to do in here right now, I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to be. Hopefully not too long, but sometimes they can be decently long depending on your um, uh, idea of long. But I have done meditations that are over an hour into an hour and a half. Uh, I Like I said, I don't think this is going to be that, but I... I don't really know. Uh, we get in there and we just see what happens and where we're taken and what we're told to do. And I channel and it is what it is. I don't rush the process. I just, I go from point A to point Z and whatever's in between, I'm along for the ride just like you. So before you get into this meditation, I suggest you go to the bathroom, get some water nearby, get a comfy spot, light some candles, um, turn down the lights, um, turn down your lights, uh, get into a comfy position, call in your guides, and then we'll get going. And again, this is a meditation for this 3-3 2021 Stargate. Uh, you can get into this at any time before, during, or not before, we're in the Stargate. It is 3-3 right now. Um, you could get into this at any time with the Stargate. It does not have to be uh, so what I'm saying is, is let's say you come across this and it's the 20th of March, you can still do this, this meditation for the Stargate because it will have affected your energy in the Stargate, even if you're actually doing it after the Stargate, because your energy will be um, brought into the timeline of the Stargate because of your intent. <clears throat> I don't know of a better way to really put that, but that's just kind of how it works. So your intent to be to do a meditation at any time that you may come across them that I do takes you to that point in time of the meditation so you can benefit from it as though you did it in that time, um, even if you're doing it later. Pretty cool. <clears throat> okay. 
So grab your crystals, <clears throat> light your incense if, you, if you've got them, or Palo Santo or Sage. Get some frequency music going. I have 1111 frequency music, but I'm not going to have it too, too loud. So you may not be able to hear it. So you can get your own on. Um, I will put the link in the description for what this music is. I'm really, I love it. It's called um, 1111 Hertz Spiritual Hug of an Angel, Unconditional Love of Guardian Angels. Um, it's on the healing, healing meditation channel. Um, and uh, again, I will put, put it in the description um, so you can set it to your own liking so you can be able to hear it. Okay. And now we will be getting into our meditation. So please get into a comfy spot. Um, it is ideal to either be cross-legged on the floor or sitting in a chair with your feet on the floor. If you need to lay down, go ahead and do that. Just people tend to uh, kind of slip into really, really deep consciousness as they rise into the astral and they tend to forget what goes on. Um, they think that they're asleep, but it's more like just very, very deep, deep, deep because if I start to talk about it, people will always remember things and chime in with stuff. They'll be like, oh, I fell asleep and then start talking about it. They'll be like, oh, I remember that. <laughs> so if you're asleep, there's no way you could remember that. But still consciously, you need prompting. So it's better to be as, as up and as conscious as aware so you can integrate what, we, what happens here. All righty. <clears throat> right as my throat starts to get funky. I've been with this target, I've definitely built releasing a lot of um, uh, like more with the third eye and it's just kind of just in my lungs and with my third eye, just a lot of releasement. So that could be happening with you too. You could be getting um, just feeling like a lot of phlegm or just post nasal drip and stuff like that. That is um, definitely third eye business. So do your best, like don't take any type of antihistamine. You may be sneezing because it does affect your third eye makes you sneeze. So when it's doing stuff with, especially when it's releasing DMT. So a lot of people think that they're having like allergy attacks when their third eye is just going bonkers and that just kind of messes things up more. So really tap into what's going on. Alrighty, let's close eyes here. And I've actually, this thing has been happening with me more and more lately, not really sure. And it didn't used to happen so much. I'm not really sure what this is, but as I'm tapping in and channeling and doing meditative energy work, I tend to start yawning a lot. As I start picking up, I just think it's just what happens with my third eye, my crown chakra and all my other chakras. <laughs> So if you hear or feel me yawning, that's what it is. Um, you may get tingly, you may get itchy with this meditation. You can scratch, itch, move around, sway, dance even. Just try to keep your eyes closed as, um, no matter what, just so just to, to keep you where you're at um, and not mess with your visuals, especially, you know, we're gonna be getting visuals here and traveling. And that is about it. Other than that, thank you for joining me on this beautiful ride we're about to take into our 3321 Stargate. At any time that you are doing this or run across this is the right time to do it. Don't think that you're behind at all because you're not, like I explained earlier. Um, trays upright and arms inside the locomotive as we get going here, family. Okay. <laughs> Uh, center in the body. I'm gonna welcome in our guides and guardians, our immediate guardian angels. If you know their name, say hello and bring them in nice and tight with you. They're coming in for support. If you don't know their name and want to know their name, just put that out there. <clears throat> 
And if you want to <laughs> meet and connect with your guardian angel, uh, check out the meditation that I did on February 14th. <clears throat> it's called Body, Love, and Meet Your Guardian Angel. All righty. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. <sighs> Let's just give me a moment here for me to tap in and see what I see. If you can just do some nice Easy breaths in and out of your nose. All right, so first things first, tapping in and getting really aware of our solar plexus chakra. Just feel that energy right there in your center, right at your belly button. And we're just gonna turn that on like a dimmer switch on a light. We're gonna tap in with the solar plexus energy. And that's right above our sacral and right below our heart chakras. And that's where we're going first. Gonna be tapping with the energies of our beautiful soul, our star, our sun, and the soul. So our soul, our sun, and the soul, and connecting in and through all the way up to our galactic center. So first tapping in with our solar plexus. I want to see this getting nice and big and fluffy and buoyant and just not, you know, heavy or dense energy. Just imagine it being really, really big and fluffy, almost like you can reach down and just start pulling, pulling on it like, like cotton candy almost and just pull, pull, <clears throat> pull, 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 pull till it gets nice and big and you can make it nice and big like uh like all the way around your body and just think and tap into that just beautiful energy all in and around your body with that solar plexus so kind of picturing saturn with those rings and what that what that is like so picture you and the rings around you but that's your solar plexus energy your solar plexus chakra that you're just pulling and you're just letting come out and stabilize you just really expand with this energy and then make it go bigger and brighter bigger and brighter i'm seeing just taking over going bigger up into the chest with this light that's outside of you from the center and the core of you it's super super bright but then it just goes bigger and bigger fluffy and fluffy buoyant and and um light with this energy and just feel it rising all the way around you i just see it just big and rising around you the solar plexus energy and then you can start tapping in with the actual sun with our beautiful sun and just imagine this intensely bright sunny day coming up um with the sun and that energy coming down above us like it's noon it's just noon it's high noon sun is right above us right above us and we're just soaking through this sunlight directly on our on our heads on our shoulders lifting up your hands and just soaking in this beautiful sunlight and feeling this buoyancy all the way around us with our solar plexus and then the light coming down into the energy of our solar plexus connecting with that energy connecting connecting you feel it like charging up the atmosphere around us that's our solar plexus energy just feel that you can feel it just kind of lifting you up 
I'm just creating this beautiful, uh, it's like this uh, vortex of light, this beautiful sunlight around us. So you can't even really see through it. It's just beautiful light, just shining down and then in and then out. And so just picture yourself in like a toroidal field and you are just pulling down this energy from our beautiful sun down into our field and just see it weaving, weaving, weaving the starlight, the starlight, the starlight, our sun coming in, sun coming in and just let it permeate in with that solar plexus chakra energy that is just buoyant and floating around you. And let your body start soaking in that energy a little deeper and deeper and really start pulling it into the body. And it's getting brighter on the outside and we're, and we're pulling it in and we're pulling it in on top of our heads. We're just opening up. Just imagine the top of your head just, just opening up like a hinge, like, like a hinge and just opening up and allowing for this beautiful sunlight, this beautiful um, soul light to soul light coming in. So S-O-L light to S-O-U-L light coming in directly through, through our top of our heads, through our crown chakras, lighting up inside of our heads. Just imagine if you could see that, what that would look like, this amazing light coming into your head. And if you were to open up your eyes in this space, it would just be open eyes and just beautiful light coming out. And just imagine just light filling up your head and just light coming out you open up your mouth and light comes out and you open up your ears and light comes out as the light comes in and down and through your throat we're going to take this beautiful light and just fill it fill it fill it up in our bodies right down our throats right into our chests and fill up your shoulders your arms this beautiful light. As we do this, our, our heart chakra start to activate. You can see that beautiful heart chakra energy starting to get bigger. So we have our green emerald heart chakra energy, and then we're feeling our throat chakra, that beautiful blue. And of course, our third eye with the indigo. Let's see and feel that as the light is coming in and down, already working with our solar plexus as we started this. So pulling the energy down past the solar plexus, down past the solar plexus, opening up. Let's tap in with that sacral. Just take a moment. Let's tap in with that sacral. Really feeling that open up now, open up like we're sitting on this big, beautiful lotus flower coming out from our sacral chakras, just starting to open up, open up, open up. And we're just sinking in as the sacral starts to open up. Petals all around us, beautiful orange petals. We're sinking into that as it opens up around us. Just think, open up, open up. And I release and I receive. I release and I receive. So releasing anything that's holding you back or dense, heavy. Feeling that down into the body. Feeling your sacral just open up like petals of a beautiful lotus flower. Getting bigger and bigger all around you as this sunlight fills this petal. So it's like this beautiful lotus flower opening up. And you're there in the center. Now think about your root chakra, that root chakra there at the bottom, there at the base, there at the root, root chakra, think root, think stem, think about extending this beautiful root chakra, making it nice and big, holding the flower, holding the petals, but going down into the earth. Let's take that energy, beautiful root chakra energy, just send it straight down. Just imagine yourself sitting there up and lifted energy going down into Gaia, down into Gaia with your root. Feel that through your legs, through your feet. Send it with your energy all the way down. And then feel Gaia receiving and pulling that energy down, grounding you, grounding you. She's coming in. She's saying, okay, hold on, hold on.
<laughs> Dear ones, I want you to imagine being a suspended blossom and flower opening up at my command strong and dropping your stem into the earth and rooting down with me. Driving your roots into my earth, lifting and pulling up life force from my earth, from my soil, from the water in the earth, and lifting that energy up into you as you drive your roots down into my soil, into my body for me to take hold and nourish you and ground you in with me. Feel the pulses of energy that I sent up to and through every single channel of energy that you have grounded inside of me. And at the same time, think about pulling down the energy from the beautiful sun down through your body, connecting with that light into your body and then sending it down into me light codes to help activate you, to help you remember, to help you connect and hear me, feel me, and not just me, your beautiful guardian angel that is always with you, all of your angels, our archangels that work with you and me. And of course, all of the ascended masters Dear one, please open up your heart chakra at this time. Release the energy as widely as you can. Open up the channels of energy there in your back, at your uh, shoulder blades. Opening up the channels of energy there and allowing for this energy to release and escape through your wings, your energetic wings, from your heart chakra energy, going out through your chest, through your arms, down to your hands, through your back and up and out of your back so you can expand and receive as much as this, of this beautiful energy that I send to you, that your son sends to you, and that the galactic center sends to us all receiving, receiving all of these energies. Remember, remember to pull them through your body, feel them through your body. Now is the time to release negativity, density, fears, apprehension, procrastination, inhibition that keep you back in your blocks that keep you from moving forward. Our dear Morgan came to you to give you these messages, to prepare you for the stargates, to prepare you for the timelines coming. And I am here to help you solidify in your body the codes that will help you with your energy and choosing the highest possible timelines and mastering your frequency through this stargate and all of the possible timelines that will be afforded to you and for the collective as a whole. See them coming down into you and through you. Accept the integration of the highest possible timelines for your soul journey and destination, for what it means for your mission and our missions collectively. Receive them into your physical vessel, integrate them in with your energetic body, feel them into the, the water, the blood, the bone, the flesh, and the breath of your body now. And take your roots deeper into my body, into my soul, connect with the abundance matrix, 
my crystalline grid that I have within my body that connects to everything within me, to you and out, to our planetary brothers and sisters of our own family and beyond, to all of creation. You are star and crystal. I am star and crystal. We connect through water. We connect through blood. And we are always together, always and forever, through time, always. No matter what incarnation you have been in, no matter what body, no matter what time line or time frame, when you have been alive on my body, you are one to me, my dear sweet child. I see you this way. I see you growing in every stage like a child to an old person. In one lifetime, I see you over and over again here. Please know and connect to this knowing that I know you deeply and truly like a mother would that who's, who's always loved you, who's always been a part of your life. Every step that you've ever taken has been upon my body. Every breath that you've ever taken has been the breath in the air that I have provided for you. Everything that you've ever eaten in sustenance has been something that I have produced for you naturally through my body in one way or another. And when you have passed from one life to another, I have taken your flesh and bone into my body. I know you deeply each and every incarnation and know that I have invited you here in this one. You have accepted my invitation to come into this lifetime at this time, at this most important time for my evolution and the evolution of your brothers and sisters of humanity. You are a divine incarnate here, a vessel of light, a pillar of light meant to connect with me so very, very truly. I do love you. Please know this. Please take this in and feel the love and support of all of your own lifetimes coming in and through this Stargate to lift you up, to give you support. Feel the love and guidance of the archangels directly sent from Mother, Father, God to help me, to help you on your journey. We work together as a team, the beautiful spirit team for you, me, your divine mother, the son, divine father, and everything that, that grows within the life force of both of us, and that being you, that being all of you, all of us together and connected to our bigger planetary solar system family. During the Stargate, I want you to consider your vibration, your frequency, your beautiful soul song coming from you, dear one, your resonance, your coding inside of you and anything and everything that comes into your world, into your uh, immediate vision and energy is a process for you to assimilate as you move forward. It's important to be grounded, but have a sense of detachment from any chaos and drama that may be ensuing or unfolding around you. Things that may be and seem um, violent and impossible. Many shifts and changes are taking place at this time, dear one. Know that it is all for the greater good. Have faith in the process. Be patient with yourself. Receive the light codes that are coming in now. So as you fill with light, dear one, see your body filling with light, this beautiful body sitting atop this lotus, the stem going down to the root. I want you to see yourself rising, 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 getting stronger and bigger. Let 
receiving more light codes, opening up your channels of divinity, your crown chakra, your third eye chakra, open up your throat chakra, feel the truth of my words coming in and feel the authenticity inside your very body at what I say to be true, light coming in, who you are and what you've always been. You are here for divine purpose, not only to grow as a soul that you are, to experience all the beauty that there is to experience, but you are here on divine mission, again, to help me, to help humanity, to heal the wounds of the past and rise together into a new time, a time of unity, a time of love, unconditional love, each step is so important. And if you feel that you've taken steps forward and slid back, know that this is the way to make sure that your foundation is stable, that your frequency is solid within you. So you can know what is left for you to take care of and heal from. And I send to you the voices, the symbols, the animals, the people, the energy, the opportunities to heal these wounds inside of you, to grow within you, to heal on such a level that you can forget the pain that you had been in. It will feel like so long ago, and I can help you with that, I assure you, in whatever way is meant for you. I extend myself to you now. Know that I am constantly reaching out to you, dear one, in so many ways. As you walk upon my body during the day and in the moonlight, shifts and changes will take place inside of you as they do through my seasons as well. You have your seasons too. And now as we enter in this stargate, we have a whole entire new set of timelines coming in for each and every one of you to weave together the highest possible destination that is afforded to you and to me and all of us. Know that I work with you in every moment to rise with you to lift you up and support you. I send to you your angelics, the archangels, the dragons and the fae, the galactics of other beautiful mothers and fathers, planetary bodies to come and assist and help. Some take bodies in the shape of humans and incarnate and need to understand from a human standpoint before healing and assistance can take place. Whether you are an incarnate fae, an incarnate galactic, an incarnate angelic, know that you are here with purpose and meaning and so cherished, so loved by me, my very body, the nature that holds and supports you. Every breath you take is for your support, your growth, your evolution. Remember to receive to release, to remember, and to rise. These are the commands I send to you as the great mother, the body that you live on, the body you were born to, and the body that you will pass through once again. Allow yourself to fall into the energy coming in. Dissolve with it. Lose your identity. Lose your name. Lose your story and just be what you are, dear one. Each and every time when you pass, nothing but pure energy leaving the body, soaking in from the soul, the S-O-L to the S-O-U-L, pulling you from the body into a new paradigm, ready for your next adventure to return to me here or go elsewhere. Feel the release of that. Feel the joy of that, no fear. I bring this awareness to you now so you can go through this life 
happy to be alive knowing there is nothing to be afraid of when it does come your time to pass through the gates and the veils without your body or being tethered to it and every step you take along the way just takes you higher and higher and higher in bliss and knowing you can be born again in this one lifetime. I assure you, many of you have done it before and you will do it again. You do not need to pass through the veils without your body to start anew, to begin anew. You can do that right here in this lifetime. And that's what so many of you have begun and are continuing to do and are solidifying for yourself in these timelines, becoming something new, being reborn. And these energies began in our last stargate and they continue with this one. But in this stargate, it is about connection through your rebirth, connecting to us, the divine beings, your archangels, your guardian angels, those of galactic origin, your brothers and sisters and yourselves in other times and dimensions, reaching through the stargate to you, sending you information and wisdom to integrate things you already know. You just need to remember, remember that you are meant to be born again in this lifetime. It has nothing to do with dogma or religion. It has to do with your spirit, your soul, your destiny, the truth of who you are and what you are meant to be. The first part of your life meant to show you and teach you what it is to be human disconnected until you begin to rise and awaken from your slumber bit by bit pulled from the darkness into the light by all of us feel that now know that you are turning into something different you are evolving into the new you coming to be no matter what work you've done so far no matter how deep you've gone in your spirit in your body to fix anything that was in disrepair that was out of alignment that was set in knots around your body and even things put into your body to keep you from connecting if you have done work to release, to restore, to connect, and to heal, energies coming through and to you now to maximize all the work that you've done up until now. To multiply, multiply, multiply your efforts. And for those of you who are just starting, this is to send you motivation send you inspiration, feel in your body the truth of what is real. Pain does not need to exist. Chronic problems, fatigue and illness does not need to exist. You're meant to live in a body that thrives, is full of life force. Know that for you now. And every single bit of energy that is coming into your body we send so you can release receive remember and rise as you are meant to feel the energy going through your body from your brains down your spinal column your entire neurological system your flesh and bone your blood and your breath you can choose to be reborn again in the same body that you have and turn it into something different. I am here. We are here to help you do this. I am your mother, Gaia. I hold you and guide you and support you and love you every step of the way. We all do.
see the beautiful flower that you are blooming and blossoming forever unfolding rising suspended connected open receiving 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 And now I send all the archangels to you. Archangels coming in now, coming around in a very tight circle and formation, moving tightly around, tightly around the body, creating a funnel, a tube of light going straight, straight up. Feel their love, their protection. They are blending together one big ray of beautiful archangelic light, wrapping around, wrapping around, wrapping around. Sending a ribbon of light from you all the way up infinitely to and through our soul, S-O-L, to and through galactic center, connecting there, radiating out, to and through all the way up to source, Mother, Father, God. Ribbon of light from you all the way to Mother, Father, God through this stargate, supported by Mother Gaia, lifted up by the archangels. Receive. I 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 receive. Again, thinking from root to crown, I receive, I receive sacral, I receive solar, I receive heart, I receive throat, I receive third eye, I receive crown. Breathe. Deep breaths in and out of the nose. Archangels coming in tight to loosen formation. Go out wide around our space, wide around our space, wide around our space, further out, further out, further out. Further out, further out. <clears throat> Creating a plane of light and you're in the center locking in, feeling a disc of beautiful golden light beneath you as the archangels go further out and further out, light coming in beneath you, connecting with the disc of light beneath you, integrating, taking your hands into the disc of light, in with your feet, connecting with your 
all of your chakras connecting with your third eye in with the disc of light, plane of light. Receiving light and encodements, wisdom directly from Mother, Father, God, through galactic center, through soul, through time and space, all the way down, all the way down, receiving through, 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 through timelines, through timelines, through timelines, into solidifying with Gaia, through abundance matrix, crystallizing within the body, crystallizing within abundance matrix within the abundance matrix of Gaia, solidifying, connecting, 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 holding on, holding on to higher vibrational timelines, dissolving lower vibrational timelines, see and see and see them collapsing. dissolving, dissolving into Gaia, dissolving lower vibrational timelines into Gaia, integrating only high vibrational timelines coming back into through the disc up into the body, up into the body, receiving, receiving, connecting with each chakra, integrating into the body, light, 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 light. Receiving into the body, expanding solar plexus chakra once again. Breathing, feeling into the body, out of the body, through the body, beautiful soul energy, completely taking over coming over your entire body. You're in this beautiful solar light, beautiful inside the sun. Picture yourself inside the sun, inside the sun, suspended inside the sun. You are this light, this light is you. I am this light, this light is me. So be it, and so it is. So be it, and so it is. I am this light, this light is me. So be it, and so it is. So it is, so it is. And let your sun rise up, you in the center, your sun rising up high, high into the atmosphere, high seeing Gaia down below, rising, rising, rising into the atmosphere. See your brothers and sisters like beautiful paper lanterns rising into the atmosphere all over Gaia, all over Gaia, rising beautiful suns, beautiful suns up into the atmosphere, up, 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 up continuing on and on and on all the way see yourselves going up 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 rising 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 all the way all the way making your way in and to going to go through the moon through the moon taking your light in and to and through the moon through full moonlight through full moonlight go through the moon through the moon, all the way through the moon and continue going, rising, rising. Destiny is sun, destiny is soul, soul to soul, soul to soul. Ascended stargate, ascended stargate, soul to soul, rising, 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 rising into the sun, rising into the sun, rising into the sun. See yourself being absorbed into the sun, being one with this beautiful energy. Feel your brothers and your sisters coming in with you, uniting into this beautiful solar energy. All is one, one is all, all is one, one is all. Timelines activated.
Easy deep breaths, easy deep breaths. Timelines activated, timelines activated. Bringing into the body, bringing into the body, timelines activated. Highest possible timelines activated. Clicking them into place within the body, feel it into the body, into your very cells. Timelines activated, highest timelines activated, ascension timeline activated. codes coming into the body to guide you to the highest possible timelines integrated with your body now. You shall feel this as you move forward. Minutes, hours, and days in and through and past this beautiful stargate. Will you ride stabilized higher? Remember, release. Release energies that hold you back and just let it go fully engulfed by this light, rising, 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 rising with every step you take, supported by Gaia, supported by your guardian angels, supported by the archangels, supported by the galactics, the fae, the dragons, by Gaia herself, all of nature, supported by the beautiful sun that gives us light and life, supported by going all the way up to our galactic center and to, of course, Mother, Father, God. Receiving, receiving, releasing, and rising with intent. I remember, and I will remember. I will not be afraid to go forward in this life. I have purpose and meaning. I have a destiny and a mission. There's brothers and sisters I am meant to unite with and together we are stronger than alone, always and forever. This is the rule of one, the rule of all. I'm being told we are to end this meditation connecting to the Stargate and timelines here and now. Please stay in your space. Ride with this soul energy in your body. Stay, uh, stay here for as long as feels good. Integrating with these energies. And when you're ready to come out and into body, do it slowly, slowly back into body. Gently into body when you are ready. Letting your body feel into the energies that you've integrated, feel in, into your chakras, feel into your bones and your flesh and your blood and your breath and know that you have <clears throat> taken in new energies to heal and guide and support and love you. Be sure to move slowly, to rest as much as you are guided to clear and detoxify further with drinking plenty of water. Go into water if you can, bathing, showering, or natural bodies of water if you are able to help you clear and release energies that are ready to go and to continue to bring in the light codes that will continue to come in throughout the Stargate. I want to thank you, Mother Gaia, for coming in, for speaking through me. It is always an honor and a blessing, and I'm beyond grateful for this position that I find myself in. I want to thank brothers and sisters of the light, all of you incarnate and on the other side, angelics, archangelics, galactics, fey, dragons, and all of creation up to Mother, Father, God for putting us all here in this beautiful time with Gaia, our most beautiful mother, supporting us. You are everything.
and I love you deeply. I love you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me on this really beautiful and intense meditation. Again, move slowly. Share this with others that you feel uh, are ready for this type of very intense work. Again, I thank you for being here. I thank you for being guided. Once again, this is infinity. I hope to see and feel you again here soon with all my love, guidance, and support for you for the future. Sending love always, infinite love and blessings. Don't forget the key is to create. I love you already and always live in love.